Hey guys, it's Symphony and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Dollar Tree haul. Now for me, Dollar Tree is one of those places where I either walk in and walk out with nothing or I spend like $50. Today, I actually went to two Dollar Trees in my area just because sometimes one has better stuff than the other and I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So yeah, I went to two Dollar Trees and I think in total I spent like $45. So yeah, but I got some good stuff, so let's get into it. Okay, so I kind of divided this into like categories I did get a, quite a bit of beauty stuff because you know me I'm the beauty product junkie but yeah I did um, divide it into categories just to show you guys so the first thing I got is this phone um, ring phone holder you can see it's pink it's kind of like a pop socket which I don't have a pop socket on my phone right now so I got this so I'm gonna stick that on there and basically it's just Again, basically just like a pop socket. You can like use it to set your phone like that way on something. So yeah. The next thing I got is a bonnet because you can never have too many of those. And I've actually had a couple of these and they, I mean, they're decent quality, they, they last. But my bonnets always get stolen or lost so I got one of those. The next thing I got is these bra converting clips. I don't know if you guys can see, but these basically are just for like, if you want to make your bra into like a racer back or something, you can do that. So yeah. And the next thing I got is some socks. Now I've actually, I'm not gonna lie. I have a couple pairs of these. These are just ankle socks and they've got little like patterns on them. Um, but yeah, these are pretty decent quality for a dollar and they have like, they do have like the plain ones too, but I don't really care about the pattern. So I just picked up these. These have little like dogs on them and then the other ones have just pink and purple stripes. So the next thing I got is this plastic cup thing. I like to use these if I make like smoothies or um, like the infused water with like the fruit and stuff. So I'll use these kind of cups for that. And it's BPA free if you're concerned about that. I'm not really concerned about that, but my mom always is. So I made sure to pick up one that's BPA free. So yeah, by the way, if you guys want to see a smoothie recipe video, let me know and I can use this cup for that. The next thing I got is these containers. There's two of them in here and they're just like these little shallow like baskets. I think I'm gonna put these in my um, bathroom. I have some of them like in my bathroom like cabinet thing that I have in my hallway and I use uh, those to organize things but I think I'm gonna put these in like the actual bathroom because I have like one of those little over toilet um, shelf organizer thingy so I thought these would be good for that. I also got this container and it's just like, it's just like a little small um, container and it has these little three compartments. I think I'm gonna use this like on my desk or on my vanity just to organize stuff. Cause I'm always needing like containers for that. I'll put like brushes or Q-tips or what, whatever in here. The next thing I got is some little mini clothespins. And you're probably thinking, what, what do you need those for? Well, I had the genius idea, not the genius idea cause I've seen it before, but I had the idea to get some clothespins and also some twine. This is just some cotton twine, it's 420 feet. And I'm gonna make one of those uh, little Polaroid picture thingies with this and this. So yeah, if you guys wanna see me do that for a video, let me know. The next thing I got is these fragrance sachet things that you can put, there's two of them in here for a dollar and you can put these in your drawers in your dresser you can put them in your sock drawer underwear drawer whatever and it'll just make it smell better or you can put them in your closet or whatever so yeah this says bathrooms trash cans closets gift bags yeah i usually put these in my drawers though and it makes it smell good the next thing i got is this little uh glass tray i think i've had one of these before but i think i broke it but yeah, it's just a little glass tray that you can put whatever on here, really. I think I used it for jewelry last time or like earrings, but you can always use it for like keys or coins or whatever. And then the last household item that I got are these little, well, household items are these little candles. Now I love Dollar Tree candles. 
they i mean they're good candles for a dollar i got the vanilla scent and then i also got the coastal breeze so yeah i love dollars for candles i like to buy them so that after i'm done with the candle i can use the container for stuff like hold on let me show you this right here was a dollar tree candle that i cleaned out and then i had i keep this on my vanity and i keep q-tips in it i just ran out of q-tips so yeah i like to use those after the fact okay moving on so i got this false eyelash extension applicator i actually have one of these that came with my um i think i have one that came with the magnetic lashes that i had um i did a video on that as well but yeah i thought why not for a dollar i feel like these actually i feel like these like i said i'm really bad at putting on lashes so i feel like these actually help me put on my lashes since they're like not like the regular tweezers and they have like the little curve there next thing i got is these mask remover sponges by eco tools dollar tree is really like stepped up their game as far as like name brand stuff because as you guys know eco tools is like an actual brand that you can get at like walmart or target so yeah, I was kind of shocked to see these. But yeah, they're just these little sponges. Let me see if I can open them and feel them. Yeah, they're just like little sponges. It says for quick mess for removal. <clears throat> the next thing I got is these overnight egg white anti-aging masks. I actually, I saw these a couple weeks ago, except they were uh, an avocado version. I think they were like, I think the avocado ones were like moisturizing, but I love overnight masks. I actually have, um, I think I still have a couple of the avocado ones, and then I have some bliss ones that I love, but yeah, I love overnight masks. You just put them on, you know, before you go to bed, and then you leave them on, and they kind of like, most of them like will kind of absorb into your skin, and then you just rinse your face in the morning. But yeah, these are anti-aging, so I thought I would try these. And the next thing I got is this facial brush. Um, as you guys know, I love the spin brushes. I had a Vanity Planet one, and then I think I had one on Amazon that I liked. But those always break on me. I don't know why, but like, I feel like everyone else, like, on YouTube or and just anyone that has those is always like, oh, they last such a long time. Mine do not last. I don't know why. Like, no matter how many times I change the batteries or whatever, they don't last. And I think I read that you're not supposed to um, store them in the shower. So I think that's the problem because I always store mine in the shower. But, like, I have, like, a little caddy thing that doesn't, like, touch the water. So I don't know. But I picked this up just to try. Um, obviously, this isn't, like, electric or anything. But I thought that maybe this would be good for exfoliating. So, yeah. And then the next thing I got is this makeup brush cleaning mitt. Basically, you just put it like on your fingers or whatever, and then you can take your brushes and clean them that way. You just put a little bit of soap on here. Like I said, I use dish soap or shampoo to clean my brushes. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. But yeah, so this is a good uh, good buy. Um, I have a Real Techniques one, but like that one was like $14. So like, if you don't want to spend $14, go to Dollar Tree and get you one. Okay, next bag. So, next thing I got is some hydrating body oil. Now, I have to be careful what I put on my skin because I have sensitive skin. And there's some things that like, some lotions and stuff will like make me itch. But this, I actually have had Dollar Tree body oil before and it's almost gone. So I picked up this one. This one is actually watermelon and aloe. I think the other one's like coconut and something, but this one's watermelon, perfect for summer. And I like to just, I just hit myself in the mouth. I like to just um, get my lotion, like my regular lotion, and I'll take some like plain lotion because I personally like to use like stuff that's not super scented and then just use like perfume or whatever. But yeah, I'll just put like a little bit of this in like my plain lotion and then it'll not only make me smell good, but it'll give me a little extra moisture. And the next thing I got are these really pretty bobby pins. They're just like gold and they have little like pearls and stuff on them but yeah I saw these and I thought these were cute I didn't like wanting to buy like the little cute bobby pins so then when I do like stuff like this I can stick them in there and make it like cuter but yeah I saw these these are the only ones I saw I didn't see any other ones but they did have like 
multiples of like these so yeah but i didn't necessarily see any like with different uh jewels but your dollar tree might so i don't know next thing i got is just some vaseline this is the cocoa butter one i already had the raspberry one but i'm telling you the vaseline lip balms i know some people just like to carry around just regular vaseline but the vaseline lip balms are like the best lip balms for me personally i think so so yeah i always put those on that's like part of my that's pretty much part of my skincare is i put on lip balm before um before i do my makeup or anything like that so the next thing i got is these kiss gel polishes yes gel at the dollar tree these kiss gel polishes i just got pink and then i got clear i don't know if this is clear if it's supposed to be a top coat let me see yeah i think this is just clear but i would have gotten more colors but like the other they only had like two other colors and i already had those colors because i buy these all the time these are great but um yeah you don't need a light or anything for them you just put them on but these i find actually last like gel pol like regular gel polish unlike because you know regular nail polish it chips and whatnot but this polish actually lasts and it's from dollar tree so the next thing i got is this sugar coffee body scrub i haven't smelled this yet i don't know i don't always love coffee since but I would actually smells good it smells sweet but um yeah if you know me you know i love a good scrub because i'm always exfoliating which you should you should always exfoliate a couple times a week when you shave all that so yeah this actually smells good <clears throat> uh the next thing i got is by bolero now bolero i've noticed is a pretty good brand i've gotten a lot of stuff from there and this is called citrus glow body yogurt after shower cream i don't know if you can put this on like let me see oh massage daily into the skin for ultimate oh butter balls it has a thing on it let me see i'll also like i said i like to use like plain lotions and stuff sometimes i'm not really like i don't always like to use like the super scented lotions but sometimes i'll use um I am really struggling sometimes I like mix like I said the oil or like stuff like this for the scent so then it's like I still smell good but I have like the extra moisture okay I can't get this open but I can kind of smell it okay so the next thing I got is these again eco tools don't know how these ended up at Dollar Tree but these are polishing cloths it says gentle Gen my dog is barking outside who knows why but yeah it says gentle polishing to open pores so i'm assuming you can use these like when you wash your face which is good because i you're actually not supposed to or at least i've been told this i don't know if this is true but i have read where you're not supposed to like use and i've had like a facial lady tell me this you're not supposed to use like regular towels on your face because they're too like abrasive and rough for your face so you're not supposed to use regular washcloths but these are supposedly like fragile so i'm assuming that these are for your face so i'll have to try them and see how they work and the next thing i got is these hand and nail gloves i've never seen these before dollar tree does have masks which i'll get to that but i've never seen these before it says nourishing softening and uplifting i'm i guess they're just supposed to like make your hands so it says begin with clean dry hands tear open pouch relax for 15 to 20 minutes remove and massage serum into hands so i guess if you like get your nails done or something or if you do your own nails or whatever as you can see my nails are naked right now but i guess if you do your nails this will be good to do after so now like i said dollar tree does have masks and they actually have some good masks I've actually, I've been using Dollar Tree like paper masks and stuff for a while now. I've never had any issues with them like breaking me out or anything. So, I kind of went to town today and got all these, but they had new ones, so I had to. I got all these. I don't wanna see, one, two, 
three, four, five, six of these. And these are all just paper masks. Masks. And these are all Bolero. Again, I like Bolero. I've never had any issue with it. I got coconut, lotus flower, rose petal, banana and vitamin E, sunflower, and geranium. And basically they all have like different things that they're supposed to do like sensitive, damage control, glow, all that good stuff. And then I also found these uh, Freeman masks, which again, Freeman is like an actual name brand. So like I was surprised to see these. I've never, like I've never seen Freeman at Dollar Tree, but I found these today. They just had, they had these two and then they had um, the charcoal, uh, the charcoal one, but I have like a whole tube of the charcoal one, so I didn't get that one. But yeah, this one is deep clearing Manuka honey and tea tree oil clay mask and cleanser. So you could, I guess you could use this as a cleanser too. Yeah, this has dual action mask. And then this one is deep clearing seaweed and sea salt mud mask and scrub. So yeah, which if you know me, you know I love Freeman. I think I showed this in my. I think I showed it in my skincare video and I showed it in my favorite beauty products video. So yeah, I love Freeman. And then I also found these uh, step step one and two uh, thingies. Uh, this is step one. It's a cucumber exfoliating scrub and then pink grapefruit and clay mask. It has remove dirt, oil, and makeup and then remove impurities that leave skin looking dull. So I thought that was cute. And then I also got this one, which is a green tea facial cleanser and an activated charcoal facial mask. Which I don't, I don't know how I feel about charcoal masks. I mean, I like them, but I don't, I don't know if they actually like really do anything. Cause I've heard charcoal doesn't do anything for, like with, like face masks and like tea stuff, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so the next thing I got is this Aroma Guru Roll On Essential Oil. I didn't know I didn't know what this was at first. It took me a second, but yeah, basically you just roll it on. It's like aromatherapy, ready to use. This is uh, sweet almond oil and peppermint essential oil. So yeah, I thought I would try this because I'm like I've I've always been like obsessed with essential oils, but I've never actually bought them. So I got this one. They also had lavender and I think maybe another almond, something like that. They had like three different ones, but I just got the peppermint one. Okay, so this is the last bag. I've only got a couple more items left, but yeah. So, next thing I got is this Swispers. I think this is an actual brand too. Isn't this like a Q-tip brand or something? I don't know. But yeah, this is just a silicone beauty blender, which I know that these were going around for a while and people were like, I feel like people either love them or hated them, but I thought I would try it just to see says for flawless blending of liquid cosmetics so foundation concealer all that good stuff but yeah I'm I might actually like this because I do like silicone like um face scrubber things because I have a couple of those too so we'll see and then the next thing I got another eco tools uh product it says color perfecting minis and it says it's best with color correcting concealers for an even and flawless complexion so yeah there's just four little sponges although i don't i mean you don't have to use them for color correcting i like to use the little blenders for um like my under eyes like whenever i'm blending out like my foundation and my um concealer or if i'm like highlighting contouring i'll use the little ones instead of the bigger ones to do my under eyes and i feel like that gives me a more precise application and the next thing I got is this Bolero again, Jelly Nutrient, Jelly Nutrient Mist. This is fresh avocado. It says a calming and refreshing formula that boosts your skin's natural glow. Now I was a little bit weary of this because it looks like it's a little shimmery, but who knows? Maybe it'll give you a nice glow, almost like uh, almost like body shimmer but for your face hopefully it doesn't break me out but like i said i've never had an issue with like valero products breaking me out so yeah it says close eyes lightly spray three to four inches away for a dewy glow so yeah this might be good for like if you um like for when you do your makeup and you do like your setting spray you could use a little bit of this too just to like finish it off and give you a nice glow 
So yeah, the last thing I got is this clay facial mask, which I've never actually seen the, um, I've never actually seen Valero like tubes of masks. Like they usually have the paper ones like I showed you guys, but I don't think I've ever seen them with tubes. So this was new. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, it smells, smells like bananas. But yeah, this just says a brightening and ultra moisturizing formula to help with that gorgeous glow. So I will definitely be trying this out. I love clay masks. I love Valero masks. So Okay, guys, that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more Dollar Tree hauls, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Makes sense for a water bottle, but got one anyway, so... Okay, so the next thing I got is some Air Force Ones. I'm surprised that I've never bought these.